Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to... I've just realised I can now find more plants. Right, so, I mean, this is weird framing, isn't it? I kind of like it from what I can see on the viewfinder. This is like my first time filming in this new place and I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've changed the lens so it should all look a bit more like creamy and a bit nicer now. So I'm feeling quite good about that, but I also feel a little bit weird filming essentially in my kitchen. It's a little bit odd. So I do have a couple of really good videos coming up in the works, but as you may or may not have already guessed, I have been a little bit busy with my shop, so I haven't actually been able to plan these videos but trust me there are some really really juicy ones on the way so basically what i'm alluding to is i have another plant haul for you guys today now usually i would tell you where these plants are from i'll leave a link to them down below but for for reasons you can probably figure out i'm actually not going to do that so if you want to find out where it's from then please just discuss it in the comments i'm sure someone will tell you where it's from but i'm not really about that life so i'm just i'm just gonna put the name of the plant up and then i can show you my awesome new plants because i have a few i also have something else to show you that Somebody actually asked me about in my biob video and I thought, you know what, I kind of skimmed past that. It didn't go in the orb, so I'm going to show you it anyway as kind of part of this haul, even though I did get it quite a while ago, but you know, why not? So I think I have one, two, three, four, five, five new plants and then one plant that I didn't get to show you guys properly in my bio video. And I think I'll start with that actually because it's easiest and because it's right here. So this is my new Aglaonema Pictum Tricolor. This was in my bio video. It didn't make it into the orb. I didn't really find a spot for it. I don't know why. I just, I wasn't happy anywhere I put it. I think I tried to plant it like two or three times and then I ended up taking it out. I think, and I will show you some close-up footage, I do think, I think, I've got maybe even two blooms coming in. I don't know. I don't really know anything about Aglaonema, so you guys might have to help me out. But I think it's blooming. And you know what it is? I've seen pictures of this and I thought, well, it can't be that cool in person, can it really? It's just, you know, a plant with camouflage leaves. I was very wrong. This plant is actually amazing. The feeling on the leaves as well, it's like, it's not velvet. I don't know how I'd describe this. If you own one of these, you'll know what I'm talking about. Feel free to try and describe the feeling of the leaves in the comments. It's not velvet, it's not suede. I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know. Feels really good, but it's not velvet, if you know what I mean. It's grown for me really well, actually. It's grown for me very well under grow lights, which I'm kind of surprised about. I'm having a few problems with the grow lights at the minute. But this is one of the plants that is loving my grow lights. So this is its newest leaf. It's beautiful, it's big, it's just as big as the previous one. I often find when I get new plants and I bring them into my home, at least in the last um, flat that I lived in, if I get a new leaf on a plant, it's usually a lot smaller, just because I don't have the light, but obviously, this is absolutely stunning. I love it. It's so cute. It's actually rooted in moss, uh, which I'm not sure it should be, but it's so happy. So I don't really want to change it. So that is my Aglaonema Pictum tricolor. I'll just pop it here. I don't know if I can do a big display. Honestly, I'm so far away from this viewfinder. Let me tell you, right? I've switched lenses out on my camera. So I now have a 50 millimeter lens, but I have a crop sensored camera for anyone that's into cameras, which means I get even less of a frame than what I should get. So my camera is legitimately I don't know, four meters back from me, maybe more, maybe five meters back. It's insane. Um, so that's a thing. So I'm sorry, I can't see what I'm really doing on the viewfinder. I'm just kind of trusting that this is all going well. Anyway, moving on. So my next plant I have to show you my plant haul is something that since I saw it, I had to have this, but obviously with everything coming in for a launch, I had to wait for the right time to kind of take one for myself. So I've only just recently taken one, but let me tell you, this is one of the most beautiful plants I've ever seen. It's one of my favorites, undoubtedly. And this is the Philodendron Luxurians Choco Red. It is wonderful. It's got obviously very pretty heart-shaped leaves here, but the coolest thing is, and I really hope you can see this before, you know, I show you the alternate footage, is the back of the leaves. The back of the leaves have this absolutely incredible burgundy color, and it is really, like, it packs a punch. It is a strong color. Uh, the new leaves when they come in, this burgundy colour is almost like a bright pinky red. Kind of like a fuchsia, only a little bit more on the red side. It's honestly, it's just the best thing I've ever seen. Not only that, but that is the colour of the leaf, like, bud that comes in. It's aged a little bit now, so it's gone a little bit darker, but when the buds are brand new, the buds are like highlighter pink. They are like neon pink when they come through. 
It is just the most beautiful, beautiful plant. The weird thing about this plant is, to be honest, the stems, because one half of the stem I can see here is like a red color, and then the other side is a green color. So it's just, it's just a cool plant. There's so much to it. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. I haven't planted any of these up, uh, by the way, so they are still in the root balls. So I will be planting these up maybe today or tomorrow when I get some time. I just haven't had any time. Um, I mean, when you sh when you get these things in, you should really let them acclimate anyway. So this has been, you know, more than fine in here. It's perfectly happy, but I do need to plant this and several things up actually. But anyway, philodendron, luxurians, choco red absolutely probably one of my favorites is it my first favorite or my second favorite joint first favorite of all my new plants so philodendron luxurians choco red gorgeous gorgeous plant so my next brand new plant ew 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 there's a thing on ew 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 so my next brand new rare house plant is a plant that has been on my wish list for some time. Now, what I've done is I have taken one from, you know, the collection, if you will, and I've kept it here and I'm going to mount it on a moss pole. But to be honest, if I find a bigger one, I will probably swap it out for a bigger one. So this may not stay in my house because originally I did. I wanted to wait till I got a really large one, but I kind of gave up waiting. So, but my next new rare house plant is none other than the Philodendron Melanocry. And which way is the best way to show this? I can't tell. Is it that way? Yeah, we'll go with this way. It is. It is big. I don't know if you can tell. I haven't. Oh, I haven't done head tests. Oh my god. You can totally tell I haven't filmed in a while. It's quite large. It's quite a brew. It's got a ton of aerial roots coming out of it. So I guess if I wanted to chop it and you know make it into I don't know three or four different plants, I could. But obviously, I don't want to do that. I have a moss pole that should be arriving today. I'm going to mount it on that, as I say, and let it grow. There's a brand new leaf here, but it is quite small. This has been on my wish list since, I don't know, January maybe. That's actually a long time for me to have a plant on a wish list. As I say, I didn't really find one that I was happy with. This is a larger one than most that I've seen, but I haven't necessarily seen um, ones with super, super long leaves. I guess they're really difficult to find just because I think they're being grown and sold on so quickly because they're in high demand. So I may replace this with a bigger one. So try not to get too attached because I'm really looking for like a really, you know, a statement plant. But yes, it's still beautiful all the same. It's gorgeous. I will mount it on its totem pole later on today or tomorrow. And I'm very, very excited. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet because everything's quite minimal in here, but we shall see. Philodendron Melanochrysum at long last. So happy with it. Okay, so my next new rare plant, I kind of had one of these, uh, I think on like a couple of houseplant tours ago, but it actually died. It got a really bad case of spider mites and I was just really busy with everything and I just, I didn't catch it in time, along with a couple of other plants actually. So I have replaced it. And the plant I have replaced and I have a lovely new shiny one of is none other than the Philodendron Mummy, Mummy Eye, Mummy? I'm going to say mummy because I think that's what it is. If you know the pronunciation or you think you know, then please write it in the comments. But this is my wonderful new philodendron mummy. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. And to be honest, since I've had it in the past few days, since it's been in its little, you know, home, while it's been sat in this flat, it started to grow a new leaf. So that new leaf's going to come out pretty soon, to be honest. There's one leaf here. Then the other leaf is here. I quite like this leaf a lot more because it's got a lot more like, I don't know if you'd call that variegation. I'm going to call it variegation, but it's more of just like a weird silvery kind of pattern. But there, what? Get lost, stop. That's not even a gnat, that's a full blown fly. That is a, f ooh. Let's hope he doesn't come back inside my face. Yeah, so this one is really, really awesome. It's kind of burgundy on the stem. It's very pretty, honestly. I, I have high hopes for this one. I hope I don't kill them. Personally, my last mummy I found a little bit difficult. So we'll see how it goes with this one. Something is happening clearly that is good for this to grow. So I'm pretty happy about this. Philodendron mummy. Is that my only big heart? Kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. So the next new rare house plant I have to show you is honestly not for everyone, okay? It's a little bit hairy but I love it, okay? It's really, honestly, I'm just gonna warn you now, a lot of people just do not like this. I'm kind of living for it, I'm not gonna lie. And that is the ridiculously large philodendron serpents. And it's only drooping because of the way I've had it sat. I've had all of these things sat in like a collective plant pot in the corner. So it's kind of, it was sat a certain way and now it's pointing a certain way. So that will obviously perk back up. But can we just, can we just take a second 
to understand the magnitude of this plant. Look at that. Look at it. It's wonderful. Um, so obviously the thing that people don't really like about these plants are of course the hairy stems and I don't just mean a little bit of hair guys I mean like a full-blown it's been a long winter kind of hair you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying ladies you know what I'm saying but honestly I, I'm kind of living for it I don't know why I don't have anything else like this in my collection this is like so different for me um, I didn't know what these were until I kind of brought them in and as soon as I saw them I was like I'm, I'm having one of those you know I'll wait for the right time but I'm having one of those so I'd kind of put myself on my own waiting list for this I suppose you could say and I got a new you know load of them in so because this was so large and you know gnarly and everything else I thought well obviously it's not the same as the others so I will just keep this one so that's super awesome so I'm kind of looking forward to planting this like so and obviously, obviously, the leaves will kind of, you know, you know, they'll just not look like some sort of, I don't know, trident. <laughs> I don't really know what they look like. Now, I'm going to put some close-ups of this plant in now, but I will just tell you this now before, you know, I keep on talking and the close-ups go in because a lot of people do not like this. So if you're easily triggered by things like this, then please just kind of skip past this bit. Um, but here are the close-ups right now. I just love this plant. I don't know what else to say. It's really, really gnarly. Clearly this has been, if anything, this has been the mother plant because the stem on it is just huge. But honestly, it's just, it's all about these hairy stems. It really is. I find it odd that the main, you know, stem of the plant is not hairy. And then all the leaves, like the petioles and everything, they are hairy. It's really, really weird. Yeah, it's a bit of a monster. This is definitely what I would like to call a monster, but it's just great. Like, I think I might be the only person in the world that likes this, but it's just fantastic. So this is my new serpents, and I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. So the last new rare house plant I have to show you guys is none other than the Anthurium Lineolatum. Um, I had one of these up the first time around, and it's, it's, it's so cool. Like, as soon as I saw this, I think I had one of them, and I was like, right, I need one of those when they come in. Uh, so I went and got one. This one is actually a lot smaller than a lot of the ones I've been sending out, to be honest with you. This is definitely on the smaller side. If you've ever um, had one of these from me, you might you might be able to tell what I'm talking about. This is definitely one of the smaller ones, but I didn't want to necessarily pick a big one because I'm kind of, you know, I don't have as much space as I did in the last place. But, I mean, even said, you know what I'm saying? It's good. Beautiful, beautiful anthurium. This one is actually blooming. It's had two blooms. This one's kind of dying off. This one's a new one here. Two kind of big leaves. This one is a little bit bigger than this one. And it's just, it's just the best thing ever. I wanted something long leafed and minimal. I was kind of hoping for a philodendron esmeraldensi, but again, waiting for those. So you may see some of those in the future. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I just, I had to have something with big long leaves. I can't not do it. When I see this stuff all the time, I cannot not have one. So I had to get it. Now I have it. I'm probably going to put it where the Thormata film was, which I'm pointing over here because that's where it was. There's now an empty pot where it used to be. Um, so I'm probably going to put it there. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll put it kind of behind me here. I don't really know, to be honest. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet, but it's beautiful and I'm so happy about it. I'm very curious to see how the care for this goes. So I will keep you up to date because I'm not really sure. But honestly, it has been just sat in the corner since I brought it in here maybe about a week ago and it's still immaculate, you know? And the humidity in here right now is not great. I'm not gonna lie. It's maybe, I know it's 60% today, but it's it's been as low as 50, to be honest, which I'm not happy about. But this has been absolutely fine. Everything has been absolutely fine. So I guess what I can tell you is they'll take 50% humidity. So that's, you know, that's a good start. Anthurium lineolatum, amazing. So, so happy about this. So that actually concludes my rare plant haul. I'm like super, super satisfied with all of these things. I cannot wait to pop them up and place them where I would like to place them. Maybe it means I've got to get rid of, you know, some others to bring these in. I don't know. I did bring some extra uh, plants over from the last place I lived which I really shouldn't have, I should have got rid of them. So it may mean that because these have come in, a couple of plants have to go. So we will see what happens. Hopefully that doesn't have to happen, but you know what, it's what's best for the plants. And if I have too many plants, I can't provide them with the care they need. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully everything will be fine. It's not so bad in the case of, you know, small plants like this because I have shelves for them. But in the case of larger plants, that's when it gets a little bit, you know, 
you need to calm down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so thank you very much for sticking by me again with another rare plant haul. Uh, I do have something juicy coming for you guys. It's just taking a little bit more time to plan and I've had zero time with everything that's happening because obviously I have to prioritize the other stuff. I did listen to your feedback about the last plant haul saying you, you wouldn't mind a big collective one and I will do that in the future. It's just this time I just, I didn't really have time to film anything else. The other stuff I'm working on does need some more planning. So I need to just keep planning with that in order to get it you know how I want it so that's the reason for the plant haul today I'm very sorry thank you very much for watching please leave any comments you like down below and I shall see you next week bye oh this frame is so big bye <laughs>